All right, so I have always, okay, I am the biggest Disney nerd. Yes, I'll give Zachary Levi credit for that term because he came up with it. I am like one of the biggest Disney nerds ever. I love Disney. And one of my favorite rides at Disney World is actually the Haunted Mansion. And I'm going to give you a storyline and sort of make comparisons to the 2003 version, which for some reason a lot of people said sucked and they said Eddie Murphy was terrible. In my opinion, Eddie Murphy was pretty funny, but that's my opinion. To me, Eddie Murphy was always funny, but anyway, besides the point, Eddie Murphy is a really um, underrated actor, side note. I feel like nobody gives a shit about Eddie Murphy anymore. It's kind of sad. But anyway, moving on. Um so the Han Mansions, the the one at the one at Disney World anyway, the original storyline, Disney World, not Disneyland. Remember Disneyland is the one in California. This is Disney World, which is the one in Florida. Disney World um their their Han Mansion like the storyline behind their haunted mansion is that Master Gracie is the owner of the house like in the 2003 Disney movie The Haunted Mansion um that the live action version of it um storyline there the same um when master when master gracie finds out that Emily, his his love, has been murdered. Emily's bride to be, right? Um, Elizabeth, bride to be. Master Gracie hangs himself, just like in the ride. Master Gracie hangs himself, um, because of the fact that he couldn't handle the death of the love of his life, so he hangs himself. He commits suicide. Okay, well, heh. Um, those are, those are the, that, that has stayed the same. The only, the only thing that's actually changed is that Emily has become Elizabeth in this version. And Elizabeth is obviously a black woman and everybody's every like everybody was was bent out of shape because for some reason this oh my god this movie's so racist. Can you believe it? In 2003 after the movie came out in theaters, I read some Sucky reviews saying that the Haunted Mansion was racist. Really? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? The Haunted Mansion was racist. No. You have you have one of in 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 the first like live action like live action movies that they've ever done. Cause like before they weren't doing live action uh Disney movies at the time. This is two thousand three. Okay. You have your you have your first interracial couple in live action film history. Your first fucking interracial couple and that's racist. Are you fucking kidding kidding me? Are you fu- are you fucking kidding me? So you're saying a white man can't be with a black woman? Because, oh, white men bad, white men bad, white men eat, white, you know, this has been going on since, since I now realize this whole thing has been going on for 2003. You butt hurt critics were so butt hurt because Nathaniel Parker is a white man who is in love with a black woman. Yeah, you get butt hurt over that and you're telling me that you're not racist? Oh, I think you're the one who's definitely the racist one. Honestly. Anyway. So. 
what happens is in the ride, um, in my opinion, he's, he's the ghost host also. He's the one hanging from the rafters, but he's also the ghost host. Um, the attic bride is supposedly, supposed to be, bleh, supposed to be Emily, but now it's Constance. It's Constance Hatchaway with the axe. Um, supposedly now the, the, the narrative or the storyline is that you commit suicide, like you jump out the window, um, because you're scared of Constance, but, and that's how you become a ghost. But before the storyline was that Emily pushes you out the window because she's angry, um, because of the fact that she has unfinished business and she doesn't know where Master Gracie is. Um, also, you know, Madame Leota kills Emily, um, in the 2003 version, guess who killed Elizabeth the butler, played by Terrence Stamp, right, um, you Ramsley. You know, the butler. The butler did it. The butler killed a little bit. But Matt, in, this, in, the, in the ride version, Madame Leota kills Emily, stuffs her in a, tr a trunk. Well, in the 2003 version, the trunk, which is in the attic, has a note in it. But in... The 2003 version, the 2003 movie version, um, you know, of course you see the wedding dress, which is, which is all in the ride too, but the wedding dress is in the trunk. Um, you see the wedding dress in the movie and her, and Elizabeth's portrait, um, You find out that Elizabeth, Elizabeth actually didn't kill herself because this whole time Master Gracie thought Elizabeth killed herself and was very, was very heartbroken and angry and, you know, it's like, why would you do such a stupid thing kind of thing? Like, he was actually legitimately suffering from that, um, that heartbreak. Um, so yeah, there's that and then, and then in the... In the ride, Madame Leota's evil, but in the movie, Madame Leota's good. So there's this all, all this, um, like the the idea is the same. It just was switched up a little bit for the movie. Like there's not, it's not that different when you think about it. It's not that different. Mm -hmm. The the original storyline for the for the ride is not that much different from the two thousand three movie, but they're saying it's but people are saying oh it's it's very different and they're saying that the they're saying that you know the 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 movie was racist and all this other bullshit like where do people come up with this bullshit that the haunted mansion movie was racist. Can you point out the racism to me? Can you point it out? You know, people always, they always want to shout racism, but they won't tell me where the racism is. Where was the racism in that movie? Eddie Murphy's character and the family was added on as like a backstory type thing or like, or so the, so the story of the storyline of the movie can make sense or like add up to a certain extent but people just want to bitch and moan about it like seriously but that's how the storyline of the movie was but people just want to bitch moan cry scream and oh how life is unfair how this mood how they the way they portray this is so unfair get a life get a life i was a fan of the ride i went and saw the movie i'm like hey i love this one too like, you can love the movie just as much as the fucking ride. But people want to become so 
butthurt over it. Which is why, like, I launched a petition because now they want to reboot the live-action Haunted Mansion film. And I'm like, no, don't do that. Because then you're going to change the narrative of the story. And the narrative of the story is that, the or the actual storyline, I should say, the actual storyline is that Master Gracie is the owner of the mansion. And I'm sorry, but Master Gracie... As, as as he's been seen in the portraits, has dark hair and blue eyes. In the movie, he, he has dark hair. He's played by Nathaniel Parker, a British guy. If I can see anyone owning a mansion of some sorts, it would be owned by a British guy. It's just how it fucking is. Deal the fuck with it and shut up. Deal with it. It is what it is. But people just want to bitch and moan. They want to change history. No, you can't change history. You can't. Did did you ever did you ever see Doctor the Back to the Future? Did you ever hear Doctor Emmett Brown say what would happen if you were to reverse the course of history? Or do you reverse try to reverse the timeline? A paradox? Do you understand? Do you understand like the end of the world type scenario would would happen if you tried to tamper with history? You stu you stoops. Oh my god! These people are like literally like unbelievable. I'm like, if you were true haunted mansion fanboys and fangirls, you would understand that the movie is supposed to be supposed to be different from the ride to a certain extent because it's a fucking movie it's not the ride they're two different but people are so fucking butthurt and oh, i don't like that if you don't like the movie fine but there are but don't piss on the people that actually enjoyed the film and don't try to take that take that right away from me because you away from people i mean because you thought the movie sucked that isn't even my problem that's not the problem of, you know, my friend, my friend Allie, who also liked the film. That's not a problem for my, for my former friend Lauren, who also liked the film. It's not our fucking problem. It's yours. Because there are still hardcore fans, hardcore fans that exist of the 2003 Haunted Mansion movie. And one of them happened to interview Nathaniel Parker on a podcast. Hello. Like, jeez. Farty. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I really, I want to, I want to scream. I want to scream so bad because all, all of this, all of this, all this cultural bullshit. This is, this is, this is all it is, is just cultural bullshit. They just want to, they want to change everything. That's why they made up this word called cultural appropriation. There's no such thing. There's no such thing as cultural appropriation. There's no such thing as just as, you know, you know, if you see an interracial couple dating, all of a sudden that's, or an interracial couple in a movie, all of a sudden that's racism? Are you fucking kidding me? That's not racism. That's true love. Is what it is. It's true love. It's not fucking racism. Get off that polit politically correct bullshit. Because guess what? Political correctness no longer has a place on this earth. Un unreal. And, you know, but you can't... Political correctness doesn't go with Disney films anyway. Come on now. Really? And not a, not a lot of these actors. Eddie Murphy doesn't give a shit about being politically correct. Eddie Murphy was never politically correct. If you could see the stand-up comedy that he did back then, he was never fucking politically correct because he never cared about being politically correct. Nathaniel Parker doesn't give a shit about being politically correct because you can see how he acts off-camera, off-stage. He's not politically correct. These people are not politically correct. So come on. 
Hello. Anyway, peace off, people. I'm sorry that it, like, turned into, like, a 15-minute rant, and I never meant for that to happen. Bye. <laughs>